Alright guys, let's talk about stuff you can do over minor chords. I'm gonna play a pentatonic scale here from D minor. It's gonna be the 5th fret. It's gonna sound like this. Now the reason it sounds kind of interesting is because I'm using triplets and I'm using different rhythms and motives. So So you heard the motive was ta da da tam ta tam ta da ta tam ta tam ta 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 tam ta tam ta 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 tam ta tam ta 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 tam ta tam and then I went into kind of like a more triplets thing Okay, so that's the first thing, triplets and a rhythmic motive to grab attention. The second thing is starting to add different notes to that pentatonic scale, like the nine. Which is just a tone above your root. So if you're in D, it's just a tone above it's that E. So adding that gives you nice flavor. Now the third thing is adding uh, the flat five in there, which is a tritone above. So it's just like below the fifth, you have this nice. Blue notes. So it's just about making sure that you understand where it's all over the fretboard. So you have the flat five, this um, G sharp over here, you have it in many. And seeing it in context to the pentatonic scale. I ended with a triplet, just like the first idea. Remember that idea I had, the motive? Now, sliding is also a kind of cool thing you can do. And also holding a note and kind of playing another line above it which is called a double stop I guess so those are just the simple more simple ideas uh, another thing you can start thinking about is um, other triads that happen that create kind of like more tension so, for example, you know, you can play this D minor, but then maybe go to um, this B flat minor, even though the vamp is just D minor, you're going... You see, so you're creating kind of like a haunted house effect. Which is really, really cool. Um, another th another uh, thing I like to do with the triads that is kind of out is playing a flat six above. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, oh, I just did that. I mean a tritone. But playing a major uh, triad. So you have D minor. And a tritone above would be A flat or G sharp. You can do that. Um, and you can also um, create uh, a, a nice augmented from the fifth. So that's another one, which is cool, which brings you to the altered scale. I'll explain about that later.
So you have you have that kind of sound over the five chord. Let me show you how it sounds. So it sounds like this. You, you heard that kind of tension? See? So that's a cool one. If you start adding some notes to it, it really becomes like an altered kind of sound. You don't really need to be stuck with, with your playing with all those pentatonic stuff. You don't need to feel like uninspired because if you really take everything and you work in a step-by-step -step way, you can really start making really cool stuff happening. So so exactly what, what I go about on my website, just go to wiseguitar.com. You can do that in the link in the description of uh, this video. And, and just work through the steps. You have the first module there that covers all the different triads and its inversion, but also what you can kind of start doing with them when you see how you can create phrases around them by creating arpeggios, which is the second module there. You'll see that in the website, just go there. Uh, a really cool learning experience because I really created modules that go step by step. And with all the amazing feedback that I'm getting all, all with this program, I'm uh, extremely happy sh to share it with you. So just make sure to check it out. The link is in the description of this video. And you know, after having all the arpeggios there in the second module, I start applying different notes into them. So you know, you really get out of the box with all this material, and you get your your you solidify your harmonic and melodic awareness on the fretboard, like you know, like a musician. So basically. This is just like adding some notes to the arpeggio, but you can also start voice leading that idea, you know. So, so that's the fourth module that's there. By the way, there's like 35 modules there. I know, I created it for like four years, so it's a really step-by-step -step process. You can check it out in the link in the description of this video. Like, I totally wish I had this when I was getting into all this stuff. And uh, it will defi definitely take you to uh, another uh, level and another focus, like provide you a very step-by-step -step, uh, roadmap to, to really go through all these stuff. Um, more advanced stuff that are, you know, when you go through the modules, more advanced stuff would be really mastering the melodic minor scale all, all over the fretboard, applying modern and bebop language all over the fretboard, um, what else is in there? The diminished scale is really, you know, I really dive into that also um, over there. Actually, maybe maybe I can even show it to you. Um, if, if I share, share my screen, screen you, yeah, you, you, you can, can check, check it out right over here. Um, you see, so you basically just go into the website and, and you log in. And now you just go through the steps. So, I mean, even if it takes a while, you know, take it one step at a time. Once you log in here, you, you do have a full-time access, like, a, uh, I mean, full-time, I mean, lifelong access. So it's just one time and you're in. So, you know, if I go through this, just this first course over here, you see everything's really mapped out and you can really start marking your progress. And, uh, you know, just if I go into uh, just the basic one, just the first one, the triad, so fundamental, you know, and you have everything you need here. Of course, you also have the PDFs right over here. And um, if you need me, if you need any help, I'm always here. Just like click and reach out to me. Go through the courses, go one step at a time. And uh, yeah, check it out. Check it out. If you're more basic or you're more advanced, it doesn't matter. Don't leave any um, holes in your knowledge. And um, yeah. So don't postpone on that, definitely just jump into it, 
Let, Let me close, close here so you can see me again. And uh, that's it. So those were some ideas on the pentatonic scale. Um, I'm, um, I'm going to do more of these kind of ideas um, that you've been asking me. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Oh, and check out this video right here, by the way. Really, really cool one.